He was not the drummer that Neil was, talking about Rush's first drummer on their first album, John Rutsey. Producer Terry Brown, our guest, was there during that transition. He engineered the first album and then produced the second one and in all worked, what, for 10, 11 albums with Rush, their most successful period. We talk about that transition and a lot more on Rock History Music. Yeah, because I didn't know you were there when John Rutsey was still there. I mean, oh I... yeah, yeah. We um, the, the the band came in. The idea was I was going to mix an album. It was on a track. They recorded it on the graveyard shift at Easton, as I remember. And uh, they didn't know what to do with it. It was like and and Vic Wilson from from uh, management SRO management said, "I know this tea bag over at Toronto Sound. He'll help us out." So he brought them over, and we had a blast. We really did. We recorded two tunes from scratch, Finding My Way and Forget the Other One. And, um, yeah, it was, it was just a thrill. I remember at the time going, holy smokes, these guys are great. What were your first impressions of the guys, like John being there still uh, in the beginning and, and Neil and uh, and Well, Getty. it was a really cool-sounding trio. Um, it was a gig for me, so of course I was, you know, I wanted to make it the best I could for the for the band. I was a studio owner, so you know I had to pull this off. And then um, when we started, I set them up. We started recording. It was like that. Oh, it just opened up a whole other thing. It was like Alex's guitar playing. The first thing I said to him was, "Can we double your guitar?" And he went, "Yeah, yeah, I guess so." And he, and he doubled the guitar so accurately in one take that it sounded like one great big guitar. It was, I had one on the left and one on the right. It was astonishing. I was like, holy smokes, this guy's amazing. And then, of course, Ged went in and did the vocal, and I was like, wow, this guy has got a voice. I've never heard anything like it in my life. And he, and so I was excited. Neil... When you first heard Neil, what was your impression? John's gone. I was pretty impressed. I mean, it was like he had a much bigger kit. His whole demeanor was so different from John. And uh, and he played great. So, you know, Fly By Night was the first thing we did together. And, uh, yeah, it was it was great. It was like, wow, this is, this is cool. And this is, this band is going somewhere. I mean, John, I, I enjoyed working with John, but of course he his health didn't allow him to continue. And uh, But he, he, he was not the drummer that Neil was, obviously. I mean, he was a rock drummer, plain and simple, certainly was more than adequate, lovely guy, but um, it was destiny was not, uh, he wasn't meant to be in the band. Oh, and I was just talking to John Helliwell of Super Tramp. And, oh and- my God, I just recorded, I just mixed him. No way! Yeah, yeah, he's playing on a track. It's um, "Love Is Like Oxygen," which was the sweet, I yeah. think, back yeah, when. Sweet, yeah. Um, Barry Sparks, bass player, amazing bass player. He put this together. It's like thirteen minutes long. It's got the most amazing players on it, and John Halliwell's playing saxophone on the end. Oh my god, I love and John. it's He's great. So... What a small world! What a nice human being. He was so nice. You worked with uh, uh Mother Lord when I died. If, mm. if there's, I, I've got no wow. one talking about them, and I want to include them. Uh, <laughs> Smitty, uh, you know, what a that guy I didn't realize had done so many sessions, but tell me, do you remember anything about, about that song? Uh, the song particularly, no. Um, or the recording. Oh, the recording was was a dream. It really was. It was one of those tunes that when you're recording it, you you know it's going to be a hit. It was it was a real thrill. Lovely guys too. That Great has band. a real nice hippie sort of early seventies sort of oh, hippie does feel it to ever. it. Yeah. yeah, it sure does. We'll have more from producer Terry Brown in the next few days. In this series, you'll find out about new things he's working on as well. If you want to support the channel, there are links in the description. You can make a PayPal donation or you can join our Patreon, get early access to all our videos. Like our videos, comment on them, 
We read all the comments, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos on social media. We'd appreciate that. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. Take care of yourself.